Hello, hello, hello to all of my Pisces. This is Queen Emily Rock coming to you with a very special reading on today. Pisces, hopefully you are having a great Wednesday on today. I know you are because that's the intention you said. Let's get into your reading, okay? Let's go. Yes, I only have one message for you. When y'all gonna write the book? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We can just go ahead and shut the video down from here. No, I'm kidding. Let's get into it. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Pisces as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where my Pisces need to take action. What information do we have for my empaths who are also very artistic, emotional in a good way? selfless natural healers who are also very wise gentle intuitive compassionate and in a lot of cases musical i'm talking to my two fishes that are tied together swimming in opposite directions i'm talking to you gods and goddesses pisces let's go so look these are the cards that fell out look here we have the five of pentacles oops let me make some room here we have the moon card which is your card pisces we also have the nine of swords we also have the Nine of Cups. Yes. So this is how you all going to feel. I'm telling you, this is how you're going to feel like you're emotionally hitting the jackpot. I'm telling you, the message came through as soon as I start shuffling the cards. It's like, okay, they need to write a book. <laughs> they need to write a book because you all have been through too much. You're the last sign in the Zodiac, divine feminine. Your people are drawn to your magnetism anyway, right? So you pick up on a lot of things. You pick up on everything, all energy, matter of fact. And it's just that struggle with your higher self and lower self. How much should I share? How much should I tell? So instead of struggling with yourselves and sitting in front of a vault filled with money and peace and joy and happiness and all of that behind this vault with this key, you because you have the key to the vault, instead of being in this position right here, you know, this is where you want to get it out. You, you got to get it out of you because you all absorb everything, right? So this is where you want to tap into your divine masculine sign, Pis side and Pisces and just and, and get it out of your system, right? Like this person right here is tapped into the divine masculine. They're crying it out. They're getting it out. Or so you're releasing it. And this is what I'm saying. So what is the release date for your book? Because the rest of the world needs to see exactly what goes on in the spirit of a sign who absorbs everything, okay? There's nothing missing. You all absorb everything, right? And so I'm seeing fear fall by the race. I see you having a tricky relationship with yourselves. Like what, you know, trying to choose, what should I write? What, what, what should I put out? Some of you all are singers. Some of you all are like artists in, in all form, right? So writers, singers, poets, the whole nine yards. What am I going to release? Like, what am I going to release from my spirit? Some of you all are the best writers because the way you have the you know, wordsmith able to just put things into um, to the way that you communicate things, whether it's in writing, verbal, nonverbal or whatever, everything in between. So that's what I'm saying. When are you going to release it? What are you? I mean, seriously, I really can't stop the reading right here because that's the whole message. And I don't want to talk in circles about you know, when are you going to write your book? When are you going to release your music? When are you going to release your, your poetry? When are you going to release to the universe? Because that's going to be you tapping into your divine masculine side. So let's see what else we have here. Yep. At least eight streams of income. You all have no idea what you're sitting on. Some of you, some of you do, some of you don't. Some of you all have absolutely no idea what you're sitting on. You know, this is where you want to tap into that strength. I mean, like really, really tap into that strength. Here we have Leo right here. The strength card is attached to Leo. You want to tap into that strength. You want to use that fire in you to really, really just like invoke certain emotions like sadness or happiness or anger or rage or whatever. And you want to put pen to paper, whether you're writing a song, whether you're writing poetry, whether you are writing a book, whatever it is, I'm telling you, the world is waiting. The world is waiting, right? Right. This is how a lot of people see you too. Some of you all may have been influenced by an Aries, a fire sign, or maybe a Leo. But this person is really, really just trying to um, put some fire up under you, right? I'm looking at you balancing out your daily affairs. May writing is something that some of you all really, really love to do. Whether, again, whether you're writing songs or whatever, cut away the fear. Take this right here. This is um, attached to Libra. Um, Libras balance out the universe. They're the scales of justice. They balance out the universe. You want to balance out your own universe. You're, you know, you're the God of your universe. You want to balance it out. 
You want to cut away all the fear. You want to cut away all the doubt. This is a sword. You want to cut it out, just cut out everything that's causing you to be out of balance. Because that weight is very heavy for you. You've been carrying around a lot of weight. Now it's time to cut it out. Use that sword to cut it out and live your absolute best life. I'm telling you, you're going to be looking back, Pisces, and you're going to look back over your life and go, wow, I felt like I was really smothered. I felt like my air supply was being cut off. It was so many things that had happened to me. And so now... See how this person is, these are the same people, by the way. See how this person is looking back at their former self like, wow, I was really in bondage like that? Yeah, set yourself free. That's what this is about, set yourself free. I see, like I said, this is uh, this speaks to leadership, this speaks to visionary, this speaks to entrepreneur. You're all three. Get into it. Like I said, you know, that fire in you, it's time to bring that fire out. It's time to bring that fire song out. It's time to bring that fire um, book out. It's time to bring that fire piece of art out of you, right? Just do it, do it. No more struggles. Listen, them two fish swimming and opposite that tied together, swimming in opposite direction. I know somebody's hurting somebody. You gotta be, cause look at the pressure on one side of you, the pressure on the other side of you, the pressure on the higher, the higher frequency, the pressure on the lower frequency. You like about to be pulled completely apart. Like you're about to break. You got to get it out of your system. You got to get it out. Not only that, so right now, currently, I want to say we have four planets that are retrograde. Only for the next couple of days are, I think, two of the planets going to be retrograde. It is now first quarter moon, right? That's action time. That's a time where, you know, you may feel some challenges. Plus, like, for instance, like I said, you got Mercury that's retrograde. Um, both of your ruling planets are retrograde right now. Um, and Uranus or Uranus is retrograde right now. So it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. Go back and watch my video about Chiron and see what Chiron gets to the root of. That's, that's, that's talking, that's getting to the root of all the, 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 the wounds, the deep wounds that you experience and probably not even at your own hands. It could be from stem from family wounds, but you want to get to that. Cause I'm telling you, there's so many people out here waiting for somebody to write something that's going to speak to all their hurts and pains and help them to, to get, to heal from that and to move on so they can get, they can go from surviving to thriving. Yeah. So please, please, Pisces, I beseech you. All right, here we have music. See, <laughs> this is why I like to um, just shuffle the cards in front of you. Some of you all are going to write some fire songs. I mean, like really, like I'm, I'm serious. When you get beyond that point, um, Pisces, of um, worrying about what people are going to think of you and is people going to think, oh, is a song about this person or that person? I'm talking about even family members. Change the gender. Change the the, you know, be creative. You all are great at being creative. Be so creative that, yeah, people may think, oh, I thought they were talking about this person until they said it was a man. Or I thought they were talking about this person until they said it was a woman. Or I thought they were talking about this person when they changed the the, the nationality or ethnicity or, or race. What You know what I'm saying? Like, be creative with it because you all have way too much, you have way too many experiences inside of you that you can draw from like a whole catalog of stuff. <laughs> and I'm telling you, that's going to that's gonna go towards your eight streams of income. You can hire people with that, those eight streams of income. You can help change people's lives. You can cre hire a creative team. You know, when people are coming up with all sorts of ideas, you can hire an executive assistant. I mean, just like the list is just endless, Pisces. That is what I have for you. Have a fantastic day. But then again, I know you will because that's the intention you set. Bye.